G'day and welcome to The Rocks in Sydney, where the story of modern Australia began. The Rocks Walking Tours offers a popular 90-minute guided tour of the Heritage Precinct. And we're meeting local tour guide Fiorella to find out more. I'm Fiorella, how are you Adam? I'm well, thank you Fiorella. Just start by telling us a little bit about The Rocks. Why is it important as a precinct? The Rocks is um, Sid, not only Sydney but Australia's oldest colonial neighbourhood. So, you know, um, when the British arrived 234 years ago, this is where it all started. First contacts uh, happened here with our First Nations people when the first fleet arrived in um, 1788. And as we walk around, we cover the main four events of this area, which is the arrival of the British, through the convict times till about the mid 1840s and then around that time Sydney becomes really um, huge with shipping and industry. So Sydney Harbour was pretty much a working harbour up until the 2000s. Um, after that shipping period there's another impact on the rocks, um, the bubonic plague that plays a huge part in what happens here and um, with the government resuming the area. And then the next major event for the rocks is um, the 1970s, the Green Bands and the Battle of the Rocks. You know we have our First Nations people's history that is the foundation of this country, you know 60,000 plus years, how awesome is that? And then you've got that colonial story that is part of it as well. So it's great that we've actually still got it here to show people today. Tell us a little bit about the tour. What can people expect on the Rocks walking tour? Um, we sort of start near our office. It's a circle and it's just a really lovely leisurely walk. We stop and we utilise the buildings to tell the story. We walk down Suez Canal and Nurses Walk through to Greenway Lane, Kendall Lane, down to the harbour. You know, and if there's no cruise ship in, I mean, it's great, we've got cruise ships coming back, so that's great. But when there's no cruise ship in, we get to take advantage of the wonderful view you get of Sydney Harbour down at Campbell's Cove. And then we head back into the rocks and find, you know, little hidden alleyways. So if you were to explore this area by yourself, you'd find places. But sometimes, mostly on our tours, we will take you to places that you would never really find by yourself. And then, of course, because we give the story, it gives it a bit of meaning. The Rocks Walking Tour is fabulous value and a great introduction to the Heritage Precinct, which is also home to cafes and restaurants, independent art galleries and boutiques, and a museum. It's also worth checking out The Big Dig, an archaeological site that has uncovered structures and artefacts from the colonial period. I know it's a tough question, but what's your favourite part of the rocks? Yeah, I was thinking about that and um, it is a tough question. There's an area called Foundation Park where you're sitting in the foundations of some old terrace houses and right up there it's very, even though you're in the middle of this, you know, the city, the rocks, it's very peaceful and quiet and you actually can sort of sit there and try and reflect, you know, what was it like to live here back in the 1800s, um, you know, what, when, 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 when it was tough for everybody here. Um, so it's a really lovely little area. One of my other favourite places is um, the Doss House. It's a whiskey bar, but you get to go in the basements of that um, um, old sandstone building and it just really just blows your mind when you get to, you know, you're in someone's, virtually someone's home. And I'd say they may be my, my favourite, those two. For more ideas for amazing things to do in Sydney, just head to our website.